High drama on the high seas today. Russian security forces have seized control of a Greenpeace ship near an Arctic Ocean oil rig. 29 crew are being detained, including two Canadians. The incident happened in the Pechora Sea off the northern coast of Russia, and the CBC's Jean-Francois Belanger has the story. This was a carefully planned operation, the sort of media stunt that has made Greenpeace famous. This time, the goal was to climb aboard this Russian offshore oil rig, the first in the Arctic. On Wednesday, the activists made their attempt, but they were expected, and they were also clearly not welcome. The activists knew water cannon was likely to be used against them, but they probably did not expect this. Russian security forces ramming into their Zodiac, arresting them at gunpoint. Then, the Russian Coast Guard, chasing the Greenpeace vessel, the Arctic Sunrise, even firing warning shots. Overnight, things got even more dramatic. Greenpeace says armed federal agents boarded the ship, seized it, and arrested everyone on board. Russian authorities say Greenpeace crew was aggressive and took provocative actions. Accusations of piracy and terrorism are now being considered. In terrorism? They went too far. In Moscow, Greenpeace staff is now trying to organize a legal defense. We, we didn't expect a, such inadequate, unproportional reaction. It's not terrorist attack. So we did do it openly. We do it in uh, a non-violent manner. The Russian oil rig in the Arctic is brand new. It hasn't even started pumping yet, but Greenpeace is afraid that many more will follow. And with them, an increased risk of oil spill. Faiza Ulasen is among the activists arrested on board the Arctic Sunrise. A few days ago, this is how she justified the action. We can see the Arctic sea ice melting in front of our own eyes. And instead of seeing that as a huge threat to mankind and the planet, all companies are rushing into the Arctic to drill for the oil that caused climate change in the first place. The tough reaction of Russian security forces could actually help draw attention to the environmental risks of drilling in the Arctic. But for the individuals involved, there might be a real cost. The Russian justice system isn't known for being lenient. Susan? Thanks, Jean-Francois.